Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ego and this is Love Ego. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little, well not that different, I'm going to be making outfits which is basically what I do. Well, I'm going to try to do a DIY out of one fabric. I'm trying to see exactly how many summer tops I can make out of one stretch of fabric. So I'm going to be using this white cotton fabric that I got on my last fabric haul which I actually recorded and I'm going to be taking you guys on so look out for that video. It's probably going to come after this one. I got about four yards of the fabric and I'm going to try to make a dress out of it and I'm going to try to make a couple of tops out of this. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make two different tops. One is a kimono style type of top and the other one is a reformation brand inspired um, crop top that I actually found on one of my binges on Pinterest. So yes, for the video, we're going to be making two different tops and I just want to jump straight into it without much ado. So if you would like to see how I made those two tops, please keep watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you get first dibs on all of my YouTube content. All right, let's get straight into this video. So first, I'm going to be showing you how to make the kimono style top. And for this top, these are basically the pieces that we're going to need. We're going to need a back piece, two front pieces, a neck band piece to go around the front of the top and around the collar and a tie for the top that will go around the waist. So to cut the fabric, I'm using a, a pattern piece that I'm creating with a loose fitting top that I have as a guide to give me the bodice section. So first I'll trace out the back piece and cut the fabric on fold. Next, using the back piece, I'm drafting the front pieces of the top. Make sure that as you're drafting the piece that you cut two pieces of the front section as mirror images of each other so you can cut them with the fabrics like right side facing each other so that way your fabrics will be mirror images of each other. Then I'm going on to pin the front panels to the back panels along the shoulder seams, the underarms and along the side seams. So after pinning all this down, I'm then going to sew down the seams. The next step is to cut out the neck band and the tie pieces. So for the neck band, I've cut out a length of 65 inches by 3.5 inches wide. And for the tie, the tie for the top, I'm cutting, I'm making that 70 inches long and three inches wide. So now I'm just going to work on the tie. Pin and sew the seams down along the long edge. and then go ahead and flip it out right sides out. Just iron it to give it a fine finish and then sew the openings closed at both ends. So 
so at this point all the seams of the top are sewn and i've even hemmed the sleeve openings so just fold and iron all the raw edges at the bottom that's what i'm doing i'm I, i'm folding the raw edges at the bottom then i'm just going to sew a straight stitch to finish the edges and create a folded hem So now it's time to attach the long neck band, that's like the trim panel. So I'm starting at the base of one of the front panels and I'm going to pin the trim panel with the edges like envelopes around the fold if that makes sense so i'm just going to like tuck in like the edges of the top into that fold that we've created along the panel So just pin along the front opening of the robe, along the back collar and down the opposite side. So just pin around the front, then cut off any excess and sew it all with a straight stitch. So after that, I'm just checking to see how it sits so that I can add holders to the side of the top for the ties to go through. And once you've sewn those onto it, we're basically done with the top. And now I'm just going to move on to the second top. So the second top is a crop top and we're going to need one long rectangle piece to make the top all around. So you can either cut it on fold and sew one end shut or you can cut two separate, two separate fabrics for the front panel and for the back panel. So for me, I'm cutting two pieces for the body. So for the bodies of the top, we're going to be using an upper chest measurement, which is like your bust measurement. So the length of your fabric is going to be 1.5 times your bust measurement, and I'm making it 11 inches wide on the side. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut out those pieces. I'm doing the same thing for the straps. So for the straps, we're also going to cut out four rectangle pieces and sew them into four half an inch straps. All right, so after cutting your pieces, place the top pieces on each other, right sides facing each other and then sew the side seams together and then after sewing the top piece sew the raw edges at the bottom of the top closed i'm i'm doing this using a basic like fold and hem stitch Alright, so remember that the top has two elastic portions, right? There's going to be an elastic at the top and there's also going to be an elastic in the waistband area. So to get the waist area that we're going to put the elastic, I'm going to mark 
2.5 inches up from the bottom hem or from bottom of the top so I'm just going up by 2.5 inches after marking that all around just turn the top edge up by one inch and pin it in place this will create the tunnel for the elastic to go through But, you know, we also have to create a tunnel at the waist area for the elastic to go through. So to do that, I'm taking a 2 inches wide strip of fabric that is basically the same measurement as the top, right? So it, it should be able to go around the top. So just sew that around on one side and use. we're going to use that to make the waistband tunnel for the elastic. For both the tunnels, sew half an inch away from the folded edge and make sure that you leave a gap that you're going to use to insert the elastic into. Alright, so now that we have our tunnels made, just take your elastic and thread it through the tunnel with the help of a safety pin. So after we've run the elastic through the tunnel, just sew the end of the elastic together and sew the gap in the tunnel closed when you're done. So just go ahead and repeat the same steps on the tunnel in the waist area. Once the elastic has been put in, has been inserted, just pull the guard ring around, adjust it so that there's an even amount of fabric all around. Finally, the last step is to attach the straps to the top. So for me, I wanted the straps to be 9 inches apart on my chest. So what I'm doing is I'm pinning them at 4.5 inches on both sides, right? That's 4.5, that's half of 9. So from the center, just go out by 4.5 inches on both sides. So what I'm just doing is I'm pinning the straps down and then I'm going to sew. But make sure that when you're doing this, that you're avoiding the elastic as you sew because you don't want to like then mess up what you've already done so once the straps are attached the top is basically done and now we have two separate tops made from the same cotton fabric guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and i really like how the tops turned out so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit like because that really helps my channel grow really puts my videos in the faces of people and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you get first tips on all of my content all right guys so i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye